in this video we're going to learn about one of the most underrated or undiscussed library i don't know if undiscussed is a word this library is going to help us to do a lot of things in ai even though this library does not have anything to do with ai directly this library helps you get data from an unstructured format into a structured format which is very essential for a lot of different segments of ai first of all if you need to do llm training you need data this can be used in that if you have an active llm then you need to do rag ritual augmented generation this can be helpful in that this library is pretty much used in a lot of very popular libraries but i don't know why and not a lot of people are discussing about this library hence this video tutorial to introduce unstructured unstructured is the kind of library that can help you get unstructured information into a structured information from a lot of different file formats like pdf html email docx pptx json xml and so on like any file format that you give there is a high chance that unstructured can help you convert that information into structured information with ease while this library is a single library it has got a lot of dependencies sometimes even for you to use certain file formats you need to have certain dependencies installed so in this video we're going to discuss how to uh, like a very brief of uh, unstructured and also how to use unstructured and get structured information from three file formats pdf html and email especially with email i'll also show you how to get the meta information like who sent the email who received the email that kind of information which is pretty straightforward like single line of python code let's get started with the video tutorial this is the html file that we are going to use to get the structured information so for example you can see the title and you can see a bunch of other things the html is pasted here the rendered html is here and then you have got the pdf this is the pdf that we are going to use to collect the information and this is the email that we are going to use to get the information you have got the subject you have got from you have got to and the actual email content is this this is a test email to use for unit test now what is this library this library is called unstructured so the they have got multiple offerings so but we are talking about the unstructured core library if you talk about unstructured core library their main proposition is that this is a library designed to help pre-process unstructured unstructured text documents so that you can use it for downstream ml tasks for for example you want to do like rag retrieval augmented generation or you want to do it for text classification you want to do anything from a variety of libraries uh, sorry variety of file formats you can use unstructured for that unstructured has a bunch of core important things one of that is what they call as elements unstructured has got a lot of elements so you can go understand what kind of elements that they have got so if you have got a document so could be pdf could be html could be anything it could have all these elements one is the element type the second one is element id then you have got metadata and text and inside element type you can have like a figure caption narrative text a title address table page break and a bunch of other information and uh, the the many important the most important things that you need to understand about unstructured is one is data ingestion then you have got data processing within data processing you use partitioning and cleaning and partitioning is something that we're going to see in this video and uh, we do chunking and then um, um, then you do build embeddings then you put it in vector db so this is what you would typically do with llms and uh, unstructured particularly helps in this data processing uh, place and also in data ingestion what is data ingestion you can take data from any file format and then ingest the data into your llm pipeline unstructured helps you in that and also unstructured can help you in data pre-processing i'm not very sure whether it can help you in other areas but these are the places where unstructured can effectively help if there is enough interest i will definitely make another advanced tutorial about unstructured or go in depth with unstructured this is going to be a brief tutorial now that we know what unstructured can do for example you have got a pdf document like this and you want to take information out of it and a lot of people do not know this thing but pdf is such a mess to work with many many years ago i have done a bunch of projects where we try to do resume parsing this is all before ai before ai came like we wanted to build in a system where our hr department 
human resources or talent acquisition department can upload a bunch of pdf files and then ultimately it uh, it would the system would tell them okay you've got uh, 10 resumes with python skill 20 resumes with r skill or to say that you know you can score the resume or to say that particular skill can be searched in the resume and then the right resume can come this is all before ai the, like we used a lot of different techniques even with rejects we did it but pdf is such a such a mess to play with uh, this is something that everybody knows pdf does not have a standard structure it does not like xml it is not like a json it is a messy file format so to use pdf in your data pipeline is always a mess and i am thankful that unstructured can help you in that and it is very straightforward to do that so first we understood what is unstructured we understood what all things that unstructured can do one of the most important thing that you need to understand about unstructured is if you want to install unstructured one you can just basically go do installation from pypy or the other option is you can go with docker installation because i'm going to show you the demo on google collab i'm not going to go with docker installation but if that is what you prefer you can do with that so i'm going to go with normal installation the way you can install unstructured is one you have the you have the python library that is available on their uh, github and also like pypy you can install that without any dependencies you can just simply go say pip install unstructured which will just install the core and structure but doesn't matter what file format you use you need to have extensions certain file formats are supported out of box like json xml these are like the file formats unstructured supports out of box but there are certain file formats are not supported out of box so for example if you want docx and pptx then you can specifically install unstructured square bracket docx pptx and then you get certain file formats this or you can just go say unstructured all docs that will install unstructured for all the documents and that is exactly what we are going to do in our tutorial the next thing is even though you install unstructured there are certain dependencies that you need to install to make sure that unstructured books with different file formats for example you want to do ocr optical character recognition is it optical character recognition or object character recognition some character recognition you want to do character recognition then you need to install something like tesseract so there are certain dependencies that you need to install that you can also install depending upon the operating system that you have got technically this should work completely fine on windows and mac but i have tested it on google collab which is running a linux version so if you have any issues with a different version i would strongly encourage you to check out their github issues section so now getting into the Google Collab Notebook, we're going to see step by step how to use unstructured for your LLM pipeline downstream task. It could be text generation, text parsing, rag, whatever you want to do, we're going to use unstructured for it. So first thing you need to do is you need to install the Google Collab Notebook is from unstructured. So I'll link it in the YouTube description. You don't have to take notes while you're watching this video. So you can watch the video and then go play with the notebook or have the split screen and, and play with that while you're doing so the first thing is you're going to install certain dependencies like popular utils and test rect ocr then you're going to use a uh, install pillow which is uh, the image processing for python then unstructured with all the docs at this point after you install this this in my case took about two minutes after you have done this thing this should ideally uh, install all the required libraries for you like I said, if you don't want to deal with dependencies, if you're doing it on a local machine, I would strongly encourage you to try Docker. But if you are a Docker unfan, Docker, like if you do not like Docker, how do you say somebody who doesn't like it? If you hate Docker, maybe that's easier to say. If you hate Docker, if you want to keep it minimal, then you can go with this option. But you, if you don't want to deal with dependencies, Docker is the absolute easiest way to do it. Then once we have done all the installation, now we are going to take three file formats from their examples document, and then we are going to get it into our Google Collab environment. So we are creating a folder inside our Google Collab environment called example docs. Inside that folder, let me show you the folder. This is the folder. And inside that folder, we are going to download these files. What are the files we are downloading? One is the HTML file example 10K, which I just showed you this HTML file. The second one is we are going to download the PDF. This is the PDF that we are going to download. And third one is this is the email dot EML format. So we're going to download an HTML file, a PDF, a dot EML file. After we have downloaded and put it into the right folder. See, it doesn't matter what folder you keep for your use case. You can change it. I'll tell you where you have to change it, but it is very important for you to understand where you are putting this folder. 
or where you are putting this file where that you download from the internet or in your case it is completely possible that you already have a folder there you have got all the pdfs so this may not be entirely applicable for you after you have downloaded the first thing that we are going to do is we are going to do html parsing html parsing is dead simple from unstructured dot documents dot html because html is type of a document you want to read it so you are going to say import html document and from html document html document dot from underscore file and refer the file in my case it is inside the folder example docs slash example 10k dot html and then get it once you get it then you can get it here and you have also got an example code how you can read it from your google drive if you want now inside this doc so i can just print doc here um i think right now i will not have this let me run this again and uh, you can see it takes a little bit of time because it's doing the parsing thing and i'm going to print doc once you print doc you will know that it is an unstructured document type which is an html document that's what you get but now you need to start reading it one of the easiest way for you to read it is you can just go see the elements like for example you can see the elements here and when you read the elements here you can see there is an html title there is an html narrative there is an html narrative text these are the different types of elements that are available for you for an html document other thing that you can do is you can do doc.pages of 2 and then really read it so i'm going to do doc.pages of 0 and then you can see united states security commission exchange commission washington dc 205 49 form 10k and you go to your html viewer and you can see exact same united states security exchange washington commission washington exchange commission washington dc 20549 and you can see all the information is where the html document has been parsed and then given you given to you as a simple text file which now you can for example you want to do rag retrieval augmented generation then you can take this text give it to your llm and then do rag or you want to do this and give it convert into embedding store it so that you can always uh, parse it and then retrieve the information you can do anything that you want and that is simply like page 0 page 1 and then you can iterate it like i can i can do a for loop and then iterate it and then get the information page page 1 if i go to page 1 in this case which means page 2 uh, you have got galaxy gaming inc annual report all the information galaxy gaming in information and then you have got all the information that you can see in this particular page and you can also see the elements like i said this is the actual information like the text content but if you want to just separately see the elements you can see the elements as well this is html parsing now how do you do pdf parsing the pdf parsing is as same as that except that you have got couple of options with pdf parsing so you have got two strategies that are available one is a fast strategy the second one is a high res strategy so the default is a high res strategy high res strategy will not be fast but if you want fast then you can go with fast strategy which may not be highly accurate so this is an option that the unstructured team is giving to you for you to have the trade off between speed and accuracy so all you have to do is you can go here and uh, do from unstructured dot partition dot pdf import partition underscore pdf and then read the documents you have got you can read with both elements without anything without any strategy which means it is in the high res strategy you can go with elements underscore fast pdf read the file path and then strategy fast in this case it will read with fast and as you can see here um it is just displaying you all the elements that it has read in this particular case you have got the same set of elements nine text four title four uh, eight narrative text and four list items so in this particular case i'm not sure like if it makes any difference between having a fast strategy and high res strategy but in other places it might make a difference and also you can try to see some of the elements that you have got so you can see that you have got uh, you have got a uh, you've got an element in this case the text element uh, the keywords that are available here so you can see the keywords here so if we go to the pdf where do we see the keywords i can see the keywords so unstructured says that this is kind of the first keyword here so maybe this is all title and other information that we have got so you can see the text element and uh, these are the text element that are available here so you can see that pretty well for a particular element so element of text and you can see that the other thing is you can literally print that is available everywhere so it is very simple for you to do all you have to do is for element in elements and oh man i just ran it print 
sometimes i get confused where should i press shift enter where should i press enter where should i press control enter so for element in elements i print element and you can print it what okay i didn't run this i didn't run this i'm running this uh, so i've got elements elements underscore fast and uh, let me run this this should technically print the entire pdf as you can see here you can see some meta information is there then you have got the title then you have got like the authors then you have got like the email id abstract keywords instruction deep learning blah blah blah, blah and then it starts giving you uh, the abstract i think this is part of the abstract and it gives you all the information that you want so this is basically your pdf extraction this is probably the simplest way for you to convert an unstructured pdf into structured information i think under the hood it might use libraries like pdf miner if you don't want like over bloated um pipeline for you whatever that you do like if you all you want like simple pdf then you can probably go with pdf miner but i think using unstructured will help you use other file formats later on if you want after the pdf is done now let's get into the final example that we have got this is an email the email looks like this so you have got bunch of information in the email primarily from to and all these things so how are we going to read email very simple unstructured dot partition dot auto and import partition so unlike pdf where we specifically imported pdf partition underscore pdf here we are going with auto and then saying import partition and then partition of the file name whatever you want and as you know i've already downloaded the dot eml file inside my example docs folder you read it and then all you have to do is print elements in element so let me run this and you get this is a test email to use for unit test important points roses are red violets are blue violets are blue is it violets are blue why wouldn't violet booty blue okay you've got the content but you have a lot of important meta information see unlike pdf unlike html email is not only about the email content you have like a lot of other important things like the from to the server and all the information so how do you get it it is very simple one single line of python code element dot metadata to dot to underscore dict that's it you have all the metadata of this particular element into a dictionary so what is the file directory okay it is under example docs what is the file name okay when was it last modified who did who from whom it was sent to whom it was sent what is the subject what is the language what is the parent id what is the file type it's an rfc 822 file type is it is it an rfc 822 file type no idea but in simple you can take any file format even beyond what we have seen, have seen the examples pptx like powerpoint presentation docx which is microsoft's proprietary document format so you can take any file format and convert into text more structured file format extract meta information and use that for let's say your ritual augmented generation or any other downstream ml task unstructured can help you do that so i'll link the github repository in the youtube description and I'll also link the collab notebook in the YouTube description for you to play with. To quickly summarize, we first learned about what is unstructured. Then we briefly saw some examples. Then we learned how to install the library. Then we saw three examples to extract unstructured information from an unstructured file format like PDF, HTML and email and then convert it into a structured file format or simply text. And yeah, let me know what you feel about this kind of tutorial video file format if you see any value in it please give a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel see you in the video happy prompting